Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today it's not going to be anything too crazy. I wanted to go over my mods and what I'm going to be using for PvP, for Crucible, Trials, Iron Banner, whatever. So as you guys see, I'm running my old Trials build. I just had it saved over here because this is the build I had on when Lifehold dropped. So you guys already know that because we are missing some perks like Radiant Light and Powerful Friends, some of our builds are going to be a little bit scuffed and some of our mods are going to be a little bit scuffed as well. Also, if you guys do have Artifice Armor, I would try to make a build with it. But if you don't, then just use whatever you can. But basically today, I'm going to be going through all three of my characters, going through how I make my build and how I want to get my build sorted and why I do what I do. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how I actually get the builds. All right, so we are on D2 Armor Picker. I'm on the beta version of it because the current one doesn't really work too well with Artifice Armor. If you guys don't know what that is, basically when you do a master dungeon, you get armor and it has an extra slot on it and it gives you three extra stat points and it costs nothing. So overall you can get 15 extra stat points, three in every single armor piece slot. If you don't have it, then that's whatever, it's only 15 points. But if you do have it, try and make a build with it. If not, then it's okay. If you guys do have armor, all you do is click this button right here and then go all the way down to artifice mod slot. So I'm gonna apply these to all the mod slots and if I can't make a good build with it, I'm just gonna slowly remove it because I do know that I have some good armor but some of it is also pretty bad. I don't need to put it on my boots because I'm gonna be running Dune Marchers and I'm gonna show you guys every single character. So this might be a longer video but I'm gonna show you guys every single character and how I do it. So I'm gonna be playing Arc Titan. The only two mods that I use that actually give you like stats or minus stats are resistance and feedback. So none of these, I don't use any of these, just feedback and resistance. You can click this too, so you don't have any sunset armor, and then click your exotic of choice. For titans, for me specifically, I always go 100 rezo no matter what. You gotta have your shield uptime as much as you can, it does not matter, I always have my shield. And number two, let's make this uh, build for trials for instance, because it's probably gonna be the more relatable one. I know that super changes have happened, I'm not 100% sure what got changed, so let's just start with something slight until we have like actual numbers because i don't know if super numbers got changed or nade numbers got changed but let's just go with 100 resale and 100 recuff for now and see where that leaves us so is this bugged wait can i get a triple 100 build without wait i can i might just do it just for the memes it looks like i can get a triple 100 build i have 20 intellect and 40 strength but i'm gonna do it just because obviously you guys can interchange the numbers like i said you can just do whatever you want if you want to have 100 recov, 60 rezil, let's say if I was making for a tourney build, 100 recov, 60 rezil, 70 discipline. See, that's where it starts getting slow. So I'd be like, okay, let's take off the gloves. Cause I know I don't have that many good gloves for artifice armor. And then boom, I get new options. So basically that's all it is. Just make your builds however you want to make it. I'm not going to make you guys do anything specific. But for me personally, on Titan, I like to go 100 rezil and I like to go less recov. But because I have the opportunity to, I'm just going to make a triple 100 build because it doesn't really matter. Now all you do is click this to get your details. You click copy dim. This is just how I do it. Pull up destiny item manager. And then now all you do is just copy and paste into this top right corner. And it will highlight all the armor that you guys are going to use for your build. So I'm going to transfer over all my gear to my vault. And I'm just going to equip it like this. And I'm running an artifice mod. No, oh, I'm not. I'm running the wrong time mark. Okay. And you put that on. Boom. You got your build done. So now I'll go back to D2 Armor Picker and it says I need five recub mods. And I don't know if it shows properly what artifice mod you need, but I think we'll figure it out. So let's throw on our five recub mods first. So I'm just going to remove all these mods because we have the thing already, the load up thing. So recub. Recove. So it looks like um, I have 93 recov and 99 resil. So what this does and what this means is that this is the artifice slot. It costs nothing. It's just free points. So it looks like I'm going to throw one into resil to get my 100 resil. And the rest are going to be going into recov is what it seems like. It looks like I have a little bit of wiggle room. I don't... I guess I can put it in mobility. Oh wait, no, I don't because do marches don't have an artifice slot. So there we go. That is it. I have my trip 100 build. I have my recov mod in every single slot possible except for this one. And then now we're gonna get to the perks. So I'll fix the drip in a second though. But for perks, 
If you guys do not already know, you change it so that it is no longer based on your weapon type, but based on the element type. So if you are running a Rose, for example, you would no longer run hand cannon targeting. You would run kinetic targeting because that is the element that it is associated with. So depending on what you are using, this is my normal go-to. I normally run one targeting of my primary and then one targeting of my secondary. So if you are shoddying, I would run, for example, Felwinter. I would run one solar targeting. And if I was running Rose, one kinetic targeting. So depending on what you prefer and what you're using, that is perfectly fine. If you're sniping and you don't have Aphidians, you can throw on double solar targeting if you're running Beloved. That's perfectly fine too. And then you guys can throw on kinetic targeting for your Rose. Also, I would like to point out that if you have your artifact leveled up, these mods are very important because if you have this mod, it changes the kinetic targeting cost or solar targeting cost from three to one, which is why I, you guys might see that these only cost one. If these costed three, I would not be able to put two of these on my helmet. So make sure you guys get those mods as soon as you can. You don't have to apply them or anything. The second that you unlock it, it is a passive buff to you. You don't have to do anything. So let's just make this build if I were running my found verdict. This is, a, this is a Titan. I'm shoddying, for example. So I'd run one kinetic targeting and I'd run one shotgun targeting, arc, arc targeting for my found verdict. So that's the helmet done. A lot of people have been complaining about shotguns not being able to pull out because you don't have quick charge, you don't have dexterity, whatever it is. So my go-to thing is I always run fastball. So no matter what, I'm always going to have fastball on. I do not care. I will always have fastball on. So... Because arc targeting is three and not one because there is no arc mod on this artifact. I am not able to put on two arc mods or arc dexterity mods. So my shotgun might be a little bit slower. So this is where it starts getting different. You have to start putting different mods on your shotguns, right? So I normally run range, adept range mod. I might have to swap the handling mod to see what is comfortable. But for now, I'm going to run one arc targeting fastball and there's not really room for anything else to be honest with you you guys can probably throw on harmonic i don't know i mean this is whatever it's whatever there's room obviously if i had more flexibility this is what i would do i would just change this to something less costy so i would just swap this because if I, I really don't care about 100 recov i really don't i would just swap this to a strength mod swap this to double arc dexterity and that would be my build. But obviously because I'm running full artifice armor, I don't have the best stats. Obviously I have a triple hundred, but whatever. But yeah, this is what I would run. Small double arc dexterity for my shotgun, and then that would be my gloves. Chest piece was where the unflinching goes. If you are sniping, stack your unflinching. If you're most likely you're sniping with beloved, just stack your solar unflinching. Just stack it. Because they're dude, the unflinching mods, oh they work and oh they stack. But for me, if I'm shotgunning, I'm gonna just throw on kinetic unflinching because the shoddy one normally doesn't help that much, but so on one kinetic, one shotgun, or one unflinching arc, and then done. Chest piece done. But again, if you're sniping, just stack the solar mods up if you're running beloved. Now onto the boots. Scavengers do work in Destiny 2 Crucible. So if you are using a special weapon, whatever element that special weapon is, put that on. So for example, I am running Found Verdict. I'm gonna throw an arc scavenger. Every brick that I get will give me two shots. I don't stack in them. I don't believe it gives you more than two shots. I'm pretty sure if you have all three arc scavengers, you still get two shots. So for this, I would then go to the regen one where you get health back immediately because you never know. There's a lot of situations where you can randomly just get an orb off the floor and it will just save you. It's happened to me so many times. So definitely get better already. And then the other one, I, you can just go for a cooldown one. The you can actually no, you can get better already and recuperation. So you get a small bump in HP. That's what I thought it was. And then you get a small region afterwards. So that would be my ideal. You can also go a holster if you really care. I don't think they're that good, but it's whatever. Just whatever you prefer on the boots. There's nothing that's really actually crazy on here, but you could drop better already and then go kinetic holster or arc holster, whatever your main weapon is. Just so that's auto reloaded, but I'm going to go with this for now. And then on your Titan or class item, is there really much to put here, to be honest, depending on what class you're playing, Normally you stack up Bomber, because Bomber is a really, really, really good perk. And you guys can throw on Distribution. Because normally you're going to be casting your abilities near people. But I like Bomber because nades are obviously very good in Crucible. And you always want to have your nade up. And if you don't, then you're going to wish you did. That is normally the case. It's like, oh, I wish I had a nade. This guy's one shot, but you don't have it. 
but having bomber basically whenever you use your class ability you get your nade back and it actually stacks pretty well so there's that but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my titan tree and this is what i use so obviously i have the tower barricade i have catapult lift for titan skating which is only on mk i use the regular seismic strike shoulder charge and i run lightning grenades so with lightning grenades the reason why i don't run jolt is because if you're running touch of thunder every time you throw a lightning grenade the first blast from the grenade does jolt already so you don't really need it and most of the time people either shoot the grenade or just walk away from it after the first tag that's what i run and that's why i run that i run landing grenade knockout touch of thunder and like i showed in the beginning i run feedback and resistance these are my only two that give you stats and then for the other two i run magnitude so my landing grenade just lasts for a while if no one shoots it and then i run recharge because a lot of time you're critically wounded you get shot once or twice this procs and you start getting your grenade back and melee back so this is always good to have you can obviously swap this out if you guys want extra stats like if i wanted my build to look cooler i can just swap this to recov and i have triple 100s again but i really don't care i i don't think like having triple 100s is cool I, it really doesn't matter it's honestly it hurts more than it helps so that is my build for titan so now i'm going to transfer over my rose and my found verdict so i can actually complete the build all right rose found verdict and my wendigo now let's fix the drip really quick all right i'm just going with something really quick i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even use this i'm gonna change it but just going with something really quick so now what you guys want to do is go to your loadouts click save new loadout and then it gives you a default name what you want to do is i mean i don't know what the keybinds are for controller but on a mouse and keyboard you're going to press the right arrow key until you're at whatever name you want so i'm going to just change this to trials and i'm going to change the logo which is the left arrow key you guys can see it changing i move my mouse a little bit i'm going to change this to the trials of osiris eye logo just so that it matches and then I like to color coordinate it, so I'm gonna make this yellow to match the background. So you just press W to change the color of it. Uh, okay, well that yellow didn't even look good, so I'll just leave it pink for now. There you go. So now you have your trials loadout build. So basically all you do now, you're done. If you wanna go back to your PVE build, hopefully you guys saved it, you just go, oh, boom. I wanna go back to my PVE build. Back to my PVE build, I got my synthos, got my whatever. I've been running the heavy glaive with synthos. I was like, oh shit, we're queuing trials? I bet. Boom. Done. It's just, it's just like that. It changes your mods, it changes your guns, it does everything for you. That's all you have to do. Super. So yeah, that's it. Titan is done. Now let's go to the Warlock. Alright, so on my Warlock, I do already have a build that I made earlier because this is the only character I've done PvP on so far. So I'm just going to swap over to it. You guys already understand the base of like what's going on. So this is my PvP build. Um, I don't actually know why the primary and heavy slot are missing, but that's actually good because it makes it easier for you because you don't have to constantly transfer over guns, but I need to make a build for the Warlock still. All I did was just throw on mods, which you guys can see here. I didn't actually change my armor. I just threw on whatever mods I had on the current armor. So let's open up D2 Armor Picker again and then make a build for Warlock. So this is going to be for Dawnblade, not actually uh, Well of Radiance, but for Dawnblade because they did buff it. So we're on my Warlock. And I'm going to change this back to regular gear because I never farmed artifice armor on my warlock. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm going to swap this to solar. And let me double check what mods I use for solar. Okay, so what I use for solar is for stats. I use beams because it helps with Dawnblade sword tracking. I use combustion. So when people blow up or after I get a kill with my Dawnblade, they have blow up and you get kills from that. And then I use the Radiant one, which is, yeah, I use Torches. So whenever you do melee damage or whatever, you get Radiant. Obviously, you get Radiant, you do more headshot damage, or you just do more damage in general. So these are the only three things you have to select for these. The ones that don't give stat modifiers, don't aren't they're not even on here. So you can just change those in your character game or whatever. So now I'm going to click my Aphidians. And so what I like to do for Warlock, I always go 100 recoil on Warlock just because that's your Rift. You don't need high Rezo on a Warlock. It really doesn't matter. You can, you can argue with me if you want, I don't care. But this is just what I do. I just go 60 Rezo as a base most of the time. And for Warlock, I tend to just keep an even stat pool. Um, so I'm just gonna go 70 for Intellect because that is a good base. And then I'm gonna go 60 Discipline and 50. Like I, I, don't, I don't run anything crazy on Warlock. I'd rather have even stats across the board than have my nade back faster and have no super energy. Or have my super back faster and no nade energy. Like this is all I run. Like I don't... Think it's worth it if you're running well then yeah i would drop i would drop this and just go straight to this if you want to be like those people that are just sitting in wells like playing trials and you have well second round yeah i'd run this but i'm running dawn blade so i don't really care too much about that so this is what i'm gonna run 
So I'm going to select six discipline. But then again, this is all just for the video, so you guys can do whatever you prefer. Again, click this, copy dim. I already have my warlock armor. I don't know, not all of it. Put this on, put this on, put this on. Okay. Now we're going to go back to cycling through the mods. You guys already know how this works, but let's do this as if we were sniping. I don't actually have my sniper on me right now, but pretend I did. Sniper hand cannon. This is what I'm going to be running. I'm going to go to my helmet. Actually, let's double check. What mods do we need? We need three recov mods, one discipline mod, and one intellect mod. All right, so let's start with recov mod. Recov, I will be sniping on my warlock, so I'm going to run double solar targeting. And then I'm going to run one kinetic targeting for my rose. And then boom, helmet's good. For gloves, um, let's change this to a big one. Fastball, that's not fastball, it's firepower. And then I'm going to throw on one dexterity for my sniper, which is solar, because I'm running beloved. And then, and then one dexterity for my rose, which is kinetic. Boom, that is done. Chest piece, like I said before, I am going to be stacking this with unflinching sniper. I don't care about my hand cannon. Unflinching is insane. I'm running triple unflinching for my sniper. I do not care about anything else. That is what I'm running. Onto the boots. I believe it was a discipline mod. Oh, that's a minor one. A discipline mod right there. And then I'm going to be throwing on one solar scavenger for my sniper. I'm going to throw on one solar holster for my sniper because I don't always have it out. I like to have it reloaded. And then I'm going to throw on recuperation for the extra HP when you pick up an orb. It's like a small chunk of HP. It's like as if you just got a healing grenade thrown at you, which is pretty nice. And then on the mark, um, I already have it done. Actually, this works out. I'm going to run double bomber and then distribution once again. I don't think running the utility kickstart is really worth it. I don't even think it works in crucible like that because you need to have armor charge. Otherwise, this is what I would run on Titan. But that is going to be it for this build. It's already basically done because this is the armor that I use normally. So we're going to go to our builds, save new loadout, do the same thing as before. I'm going to swap this to PVP. I'm going to change the, actually the logo is already on Crucible. So we have this, now we're going to press W and just change it. I'll just make it whatever color, pink again. So boom, PVP done. Now if I want to go back to my solar build that I had on the start, here we go. If I want to go to PVP, there we go, done, just like that. Also, before I forget, let me show you guys my Dawn Blade tree. Obviously, you're running Dawn, Healing Rift, Burst Glide, so you can skate, and then Celestial Fire. I run Fire Bolts. You can also run Fire Bolts or Healing Grenades. It's preference. Both are really good. And then you want to run Touch of Flame and Icarus Dash. You could swap out Touch of Flame for He Rises if you prefer to float, but if you're running Fire Bolts or Healing Grenades, you most of the time you want to use uh, Touch of Flame because it's a lot better. But sometimes if I'm playing Trials on Eternity, for example, I'll swap to He Rises and start floating, but it's all map dependent. And then, like I said before, I run Beams for the Acquisition, Combustion, and I run Torches. The third one is all up to you. If you want extra stats, you can go for one of these in the back that give you extra stats. I go with Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration just so I have Radiant for longer. But that is it for the Solar Tree. So let's get to Hunter. All right, my hunter currently has my Ahamkara build. I don't think I saved anything. No, I only have a PvE build. So perfect. This will be like completely fresh. So let's go back to D2 Armor Picker once again for the third time. All right, we're back. We're going to swap to Hunter. We're going to get rid of all this. And I'm going to be making this for Solar again because I do play Barrage. Out of all the subclasses, I do play Barrage the most. So it is going to be the same three things. Beams helps with Barrage tracking. Combustion helps when if you hit someone with a super, they do blow up and they do kill their teammates and then torches to make sure you get the radiant. So I will be running Stompies, unfortunately. And I like to go for max mobility and max recovery on a hunter. I don't really care as much about Rezil, but without powerful friends, it will be harder. So the rest of my stats will tank because of it. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't even get a hundred, I can't even get a hundred recov. Because I can't get a hundred recov, I'm probably just gonna put a mod on my fragments so that I can get a hundred just so it looks better, just for my own sake. So I'm gonna look here. I'm gonna look for the recov plus 10, so it's gonna be searing. So boom, now we got 100 recov, 100 mobility. My Rezil absolutely tanks. And you can't, hey, it is what it is. We're almost at a triple 100 build, but I'm gonna go for 70 intellect and let's see what this place is. We don't need strength. Strength is useless on Hunter if you're running Gambler's Dodge. So I'm gonna go with 90 intellect. We'll just make this build. This is gonna be the trials build, straight ass. Dude, I wish I had mobility back with powerful friends. It's so bad not having it. 
but it is what it is. So we're gonna need two mobility mods, three recap mods. Let's swap back to dim. There we go. Oh, where's my hunter at? Over here. All right. Two mobility, three recov. Oh my god. Wait, it redid my Stompies ornament? Okay. Let's start from the top. Let's start with a recov mod. Um, I'll probably be shotgunning on Hunter. So I definitely want to have my kinetic targeting and my arc targeting for my found verdict. Second, let's go on another recov mod. Fastball, arc dexterity. And oh look, I don't have room. So what I'm going to do is swap this to mobility because mobility is only three. Recov is four. So I just move stuff around. Now I'm going to throw on double arc dexterity. There you go. Pull out my shotgun a little bit faster. <laughs> Why do I have triple void reserves on this thing? Swap this to recov and swap this to one kinetic unflinching and then one arc. Call it a day. Same thing as before. Recov mod, recuperation, shotgun or arc scavenger and then I don't actually have room so what I could do if I really wanted to which I might as well mobility mod instead of recov mod and then swap this to arc holster so I have my shotgun reloaded permanently wait no I could still run that if I wanted to or you can probably run kinetic holster which would make more sense either one all right now on to the cloak recov mod bomber for sure like having my trim mines and distribution there we go Go to the fragment, make sure everything is good. This is on PVE. So I'm gonna go to strafe jump. Oh, that's not it. Go to strafe jump. Go to my weighted throwing knife, trip mines. Knock them down on your mark, as always. So hunters actually do get lucky because they have extra aspects or extra fragment slots. So you could go for extra stats here. So what was that? I was running beams. I was running combustion. I was running torches. So now I'm going to throw on one that gives you extra recov, which was searing. And then for this last one, I could actually get a trip 100 build. And for the sake of the video, I will be doing it. I think there's one that gives you intellect, right? That's not what I'm using. There's not. There's only one intellect one. No. Okay. So it looks like I am being trolled. That sucks. Okay, never mind then. I will not be able to get the triple 100 build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on Solus so that I have Radiant for longer whenever I get a throwing knife kill. And then that is going to be the Hunter build. I am going to swap this to my normal fit. All right, this is just something temporary for now. Just something I made really quick. Again, go to your loadouts, save new loadout. And we're going to swap the name to PVP or Crucible, whatever pops up first. I don't really care. Change the logo to something that matches. I already passed it. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to change the picture of it or the color of it. I'm going to make it, there you go. Let's make it like dark grayish and then boom, done. Obviously I didn't change my guns to the guns that I'd be using. Make sure you guys do that. Swap your guns to the ones that you want to use. I do believe if I am uncertain, if you guys really want to make it better, go to your guys' collections, go to weapons, and then go find a random blue primary weapon that you can pull from collections. I'm going to grab the Lionheart grab a random secondary weapon that you can just pull botheration and what you're gonna do is equip both of these pretend i have my wendigo on here it's not my pvp one but pretend i have this on now you're gonna hold f to override it boom two blue weapons pop up now guess what delete delete boom so now, obviously you don't run the same weapons on every single armor build, right? So if you want to just do that, you guys can. All you have to do is just pull from collections, do that, and then now you don't have to worry about swapping your weapons back and forth because that was an annoying thing. It's like, I want to use a PvE build, but I don't want to use these weapons, so I have to keep swapping my builds back and forth. So just do this. Remove all your weapons for the most part, unless you're doing you know, PvP and you only use Wendigo because that's the only thing I use. And then... Just pull blues, delete them, and then your build will be good. So now you can go back and forth with your armor swapping without having to worry about your weapon swapping. So that is how you do that. That should be everything. I don't know if there's anything that I forgot. If there is, let me know down in the comments. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below or join the Discord. I'll throw it on screen now. 
I'll try to respond to all the comments that I see that need help. And if you guys do need anything else, please let me know. And I will try my best to make a video for you guys. But I hope you guys are having a great experience in Lightfall. And I hope to see you guys in the future in some more videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.